Now we have looked at the river boat and the plane wind problems. We move on to another similar situation known as the rain man problem. A man is stationary on the ground while it is raining. The rain falls down vertically and is denoted by the red arrow. With what orientation should the man hold his umbrella? The answer would be very obvious. The man would hold the umbrella vertically, that is, in the same direction as the rain. And this is shown by the green arrow. But things get interesting when the man begins to move. As the man begins to move to the right, the rain no longer strikes the moving man vertically, but at an angle as perceived by the man. So the moving man has to change the orientation of his umbrella in order to protect himself from the rain. The rain, meanwhile, continues falling down vertically, as indicated by the red arrow and as seen by a stationary observer on the ground. But because the man is in motion, he now has to adjust the tilt of his umbrella accordingly. What would happen if the man begins moving faster? As the man begins moving faster, the angle at which the rain strikes the man changes again. So the man has to tilt his umbrella even more in order to protect himself from the rain. The faster the man travels, the more he has to tilt his umbrella. The tilting of the umbrella is due to the fact that the relative velocity of the rain with respect to the man changes as the man moves. Let's draw the vector diagram for this and then the concept would begin to get more clear. Let's take the case where the man is in motion and the man holds the umbrella at an angle which he perceives as the angle at which the rain is approaching him. And this happens only because he is in motion. Meanwhile, the rain continues falling vertically downwards. The angle at which he holds the umbrella is represented by the direction of the vector vr with respect to m, which is the velocity of the rain with respect to the moving man. The stationary man on the ground sees the rain as falling vertically. In this case, the man walks to the right, so we represent the velocity of the man with respect to the ground as Vm. Since the man moves to the right, Vm will also point to the right. Its magnitude will be determined by how fast the man walks. The faster he walks, the longer will be this vector. Vr is the vector representing the velocity of the rain with respect to the ground. So since the rain falls vertically downwards, this vector will be pointing downwards. It's also possible that the rain may not be vertical, for example if there is a wind, and then this arrow may not point vertically downwards. And we shall see some cases later on in this lesson. Let's now form a vector equation using these three vectors. The vector vr with respect to m is vr minus vm by definition. We rearrange this so as not to have a negative sign in the equation. So we get vr equals vr with respect to m plus vm. This tells us that the resultant vector vr is the addition of the vectors vr with respect to m and vm. The vector vr is the direction of the rainfall as seen by a stationary observer. The vector vm 
is the direction in which the man moves. The vector VR with respect to M is the direction in which the moving man would tilt his umbrella so due to the motion he perceives the rain as approaching him in that direction. Let's start off with the most basic case where the man is stationary and the rain does not fall vertically but at some angle. This is the most obvious case where the man will tilt his umbrella in that direction. In this case, Vm would be 0 and Vr and Vr with respect to M would be equal and would coincide. Now the man walks slowly. The rain is not falling vertically but at some angle and this is represented on the vector diagram as Vr. The velocity of the man is represented as Vm that is the velocity of the man walking to the right and Vr with respect to M is the vector representing the angle at which the umbrella should be held. Now let's increase the speed of the man. So now you can see in the vector diagram that Vm is increasing. Vr remains the same and Vr with respect to M has to be adjusted accordingly. So by completing this vector diagram, we can compute the velocity of the rain with respect to the man. So the man sees the rain approaching him in that direction with a speed which is the magnitude of Vr with respect to M. Let me also demonstrate a very interesting case here. The rain in this case is falling in the southeast direction. When the man is stationary, he will point his umbrella in that direction. But if the man starts walking really fast, it causes the umbrella to be held pointing in the northeast direction, which is not so easy to imagine but is very interesting. So just like the river boat and the plane wind problems, focus on understanding the vector diagram and getting that right. The solution would just follow then. In Rain Man problems, the direction of the velocity of the rain is the direction as seen by a stationary observer. The velocity of the man will be in the direction of motion along the road. The velocity of the rain with respect to the man can be obtained by completing the vector triangle and that is the direction in which the umbrella should be held. Thank you.